Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now when I was shuffling the deck, this card popped out. Um, I put it back in there and I'm still reshuffling and it popped out again. So we're going to keep it. Obviously Spirit wants you to know there is a new beginning coming towards you. Now let's see what's going on in your love life, Leo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, let's see what Spirit's messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. What can they expect the remaining of the month of March 2021? If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. We not only do um, monthly and middle of the month love readings, we randomly do different types of readings as well as spell work. Uh, quick and easy spells that you can do yourself to manifest and bring towards you. Things we want in our life. So hit that subscribe button so that you can get the updates of our new videos coming out, which we have tons of new spell work videos coming up. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. All right. So we're going to start off here with the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning coming towards you. For some of you guys, this could represent some type of elevation, some type of commitment coming through. Beautiful. We have the Two of Cups here. So there is definitely an interest or someone has got your attention, Leo. Um, for those of you guys that are currently single, if you are currently no longer or not dealing with anyone at all at the present time, that's quickly going to be changing. Now we do have here the Four of Cups. So let me pull out the rest of the cards just so I can get a better picture of what's going on. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking here. All right. Wow, we have the Death card right at the bottom. So there's definitely transformation coming for you Leos out there. Now, right at the center, we do have the Princess of Pentacles. This could represent communication, communication from a person from the past. It could be dealing with information about a person from the past um, that can have you a bit like in your feelings, Leo. Now, what I see here is I feel that for some of you guys, you kind of have lost the the passion, the the need to be or the want to be in a relationship. And this is specifically for those that have been single for quite a while. But truth of the matter is the reason why you feel this way, for some of you guys, it could even be like you've been having a dry spell for quite a while when it comes to love. There's not been much action. But what they're saying is the reason for this is because there hasn't been a specific individual that really grabs your attention, Leo. And that's quickly going to be changing. Now, with the Two of Swords, what Spirit is asking you is there has to be a, there is a need for you uh, to allow yourself to be more open. So it could be that your demeanor, um, the way you come off to people, you're very closed off. It could be like a situation where you have a tendency of being very closed off. It could be like when you're out in public, you have your arms crossed, um, you try not to make much eye contact or you rarely smile. And what they're saying is that there is a need for you to be more open um, in the physical aspect, meaning uh, your demeanor. Now, with the Eight of Swords, you've been stuck in a situation where there's been a bit of boredom or feeling like there's been boredom. It hasn't been exciting your love life for quite a while. Like I said, that's quickly going to be changing, but you do have to put some effort in making yourself more available. Smile more often, Leo. There's nothing wrong with that. I promise you, you're not going to grow wrinkles overnight if you smile. Now, you do have here the Five of Wands. and the Five of Wands, there's a new beginning that's coming towards you with this Ace of Pentacles that is going to bring to you not only having the opportunity to have multiple options, but people making themselves known to you, like making it clear that they're interested in you and you having the opportunity to start something new. 
Now you do have the four of swords here with the 10 of swords. So for some of you guys, some of you Leos out there, um, there could have been a disconnect or some type of ending that came with a relationship from your past where you now have moved on. We do have the 10 of pentacles here. So it could be that you're creating or starting to build a family or some type of um, structure within this relationship, some type of commitment. Um, but we do have the four of swords and the 10 of swords here. So this could indicate almost like with the uh, princess of pentacles it could represent messages that you're getting from the person from the past um but with the four of swords what spirit is telling you is don't act on impulse okay so what i mean by that is just because you're bored and you randomly get a text from the ex don't respond to it just because you're bored because i feel that there is some type of releasing of karma that's happening right now and by you entertaining that, you're kind of bringing them back into your energy. And we don't want to do that. We want to embrace this new beginning that's coming. Um, that is coming right after some type of conclusion or some type of ending. For some of you guys, it could represent that you're coming to the conclusion or to the ending of your singlehood. For those have, that have been single for quite a while. Now, it could be with the Ten of Swords. It can also indicate... That there is a conclusion within this connection um, if you are currently dealing with someone uh, where there hasn't been much communication or perhaps there was an ending like a literal ending like someone uh, broke up or walked away from this connection i see them wanting to come back around and wanting to either rebuild this connection or get the opportunity to make things right with this ace of pentacles and two of cups it could almost be like a situation where they found out that the you know the grass wasn't greener on the other side and i see you being very prideful leo i see you like saying you know what it came to an end and there's a reason i'm not gonna go back to to the past you've showed me your true colors that type of energy and i feel that for some of you guys pride could be in the way so again if you are dealing with a situation where there was an ending of a relationship and there was pride on both sides but you still genuinely feel that there's still love there. The opportunity to turn around the situation is likely here. Um, but I feel that it's going to take, again, like I said, for both of you guys to put your prides aside. That's definitely coming on very strong here. All right, let's see what your oracle cards have to say here. Your first card is, I'm waiting for an apology. So yeah, we go back to that of egos. I feel that... For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the situation where there was some type of separation, some type of ending. Both of you guys are missing each other, but you're kind of not budging. What did you want from me? Very clear in the messages, I think. I pretend you don't mean that much. So yeah, I feel that if for those of you guys that are dealing with a situation where there was a separation or some type of breakup, if you feel like this person has moved on or if you feel like this person doesn't really care. Um, I feel that they're, it's just a mask that they're portraying. In reality, it's their ego. They don't want you to see how much it's affected them. However, like I said, I feel that if they're willing to put their pride and you're willing to put your pride to the side, if there is still love there, there is still an opportunity to rekindle this connection. Now, for others of you, uh, this could represent um, almost like a type of energy of where I'm ready to start something new. I'm ready to move forward in a positive aspect with I'm waiting for an apology could represent um, your previous relationship perhaps didn't end on the best of terms. Um, here's the thing. If you're dealing with a situation like that where it didn't end to the best, the best of terms and there's still something that you guys are still holding on towards each other, whether it be anger, whether it be waiting for an apology, whatever the situation is, you need to understand that if you don't release this energy, it's like you're still holding on to them. It's like they're still affecting you in some shape, way or form. And that's something that you need to acknowledge. So is it that you're holding on to that? Because then it would mean that you would have to really acknowledge or, or or understand that it has came to a conclusion is that why you're holding on to that whatever the situation is what is it that you want from me could represent i feel that this has more to do with you leo um kind of like 
if there's been a separation or there's been a breakup and you're still holding on to waiting for them to apologize, this could be Spirit's way of telling you what is it exactly that you want. Do you want the apology just for your ego boost? Do you want the apology because you feel like you were done wrong? Um, and whatever the, this, whatever your answer to that is, by you still holding on to that or still waiting for someone to come and apologize to you, obviously it's still affecting you. So are you suppressing your feelings is what they're saying here, okay? And I'm pretending like, um, like you don't mean that much to me. I feel that this could also be your energy as well, Leo. So someone is definitely not acknowledging some feelings, some unresolved feelings. And I feel that at this point, if you're still dealing with that, it's time to let it go, Leo. Let it go. Completely let it go. Um, this is not only going to uh, propel you to the new beginning that's coming towards you, but it's no, you're no longer going to be carrying attachments or feelings or uh, any type of emotional connection that is still drawing you guys together. Because I feel that for some of you guys, you have unresolved issues here with a past partner. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gave you guys some insight. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you guys. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is Spirit's direct message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? Okay. And we have number 14. This is about lies, deception, trickery, um, self-interest, disguise. I feel that this is to do with your emotions, Leo. You're not being honest about something from your past. Okay, nothing to do with the present. This is something to do with the past. And it could be if you are currently in a connection, it could represent that you're allowing the past to, st to still influence or still have some type of power over you. And it could be you that you are lying to yourself about pretending that it doesn't affect you or that a person from your past, um, that you're over. Maybe you're not. Maybe you still have feelings there. Maybe you're still holding on to some type of hope. So again, we have to be honest with ourselves is what they're saying here. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And uh, we'll see each other soon. Mm, bye.